So I came across an article this week basically describing how Google's new professional IT certificates are meant to really compete with four year college degrees. And I thought that was interesting. I wanted to come here and talk to y'all about it a little bit and kind of just dig into what they are and are they gonna be worth pretty much getting into and taking. So a lot of you guys probably already know that in 2018, Google first came out with their IT support certificate on Coursera. Now Google has these new ones coming out and you can get these in UI, UX design, data analyst, project management, Android development. And I think there might even be more coming out, but for right now, those are the ones I was able to find online and those are the ones that they're offering right now on Coursera. Because again, guys, boot camps are really expensive and college is very expensive and so when we talk about it careers or just career in general on this channel i try to give you guys my honest opinion about what the best routes are best options are if i had to go do things over again how i would try to get into it if it wasn't for going to coding boot camp like i did in 2018. so the article is basically talking about how college doesn't actually teach the real world experience that employers are looking for. They teach critical thinking skills, obviously, but not so much the hands-on experience in the field that employers are looking for so that you can come in directly out of college with that degree and start making an impact from day one. Google tried to supplement all the things and skills that employers said they want that college graduates just don't have in each of these fields. You know, Google's done a ton of research in the job market with different employers about the skills that they actually want when they hire people or look for when they actually hire people and they try to you know put a curriculum together through Coursera that basically gives you all of those skills so if we go ahead and just jump into the curriculum of a couple of these certificates this one is the Google UX design certificate and so they basically say that with this certificate you can go into jobs like user experience designer UI designer interaction designer visual designer or product designer inside the curriculum there are seven modules foundations of user experience design start the ux design process empathize define and ideate build wireframes and low fidelity prototypes conduct ux research and test early concepts create high fidelity designs and prototypes in figma responsive web designs in adobe xd and design for social good and prepare for jobs. I don't know if you're familiar, but basically tools like Figma and Adobe XD, Figma you can get online for free actually. You guys can just go on and there's a bunch of resources just like with coding or anything else. There's a bunch of resources online where y'all can go like learn how to do responsive designs inside of Figma and stuff like that. Same thing with Adobe XD. And if you're already familiar with certain tools like, I don't know, Photoshop, Pixlr, stuff like Canvas kind of, like any sort of kind of design tools, you'll quickly kind of get the feel for what you're trying to do, like prototyping wise, wireframe wise. And there's just a lot of design rules and concepts to learn, but those are all things you can go learn online or on YouTube as well. If you did a freelance project using these tools, kind of following the things you learned online from watching videos and just reading and things like that, I think you guys can pretty much supplement this as well too. Granted, this costs a lot less, a lot less than a coding bootcamp. So these certificates only cost like, I think 240 at the lowest and like upwards of 300 bucks, depending on how long it takes you to actually finish the course. The cost actually varies as well as the time varies with these courses. But again, there's still cheaper options of getting a packaged experience of what to learn and what order to learn it in. And it sounds like you do build a portfolio, but that would be another good thing to have. They have you do three different wireframes in this UI UX course. So they have you do a web wireframe, they have you do a mobile wireframe, they have you do a tablet wireframe. But at the same time, guys, it doesn't mean that you need this course to even get that experience as well too. If you know what they're teaching, what they're doing, you can go get that experience, like I said, in freelance projects yourself. But let's get into this project management one as well. So. The project management Google certificate says you can become a project manager, project coordinator, project assistant, operations manager, operations associate, program manager, scrum master, project associate, project analyst, project administrator, and technical project manager. So all these different job titles are supposed to be roles or careers you can get into by going through or taking this Google project management certificate. Inside this one, guys, we can see that you're focused on you know, managing budgets and running effective meetings and managing stakeholders, identifying managing risk, applying Scrum and Agile frameworks. These are all the tech keywords that we kind of hear about all the time, right? This one, you learn about foundations of project management, project initiation, starting a successful project, project planning, putting it all together, project execution, running the project, agile project management, 
and you have a capstone project where you apply project management in the real world. In the videos here, when you watch the video where they're, they're talking about the project management course, they describe if you've ever planned a baby shower or a wedding or uh, anything that involves like a lot of people, you know, birthday parties, all those things are technically project management experiences, which is kind of crazy to think about because I had never thought about that myself, but they actually use those things as an example in the video where they market this course. And that goes to show you that you can get real world experience with project management if you probably haven't already had some. If you don't just think about certain things where maybe you organized a lot of people or you had to manage people's schedules and the budget for something and getting everyone together and making sure everything is done on time logistics. Those things are project management experiences, but there's a lot of different ways basically what I'm saying to get all these experiences guys. So even though these new certifications are coming out right now or they're out, it doesn't mean that this is something that you have to do. I think experience is the biggest thing in getting a job in working in tech or pretty much going forward in the job market guys. I just think experience is going to be the thing that matters the absolute, absolute most over whatever certification you have no matter what courses you've gone through or taken, I think experience is going to mean much, much more because employers want people who can just come in in their role and just start working right away. It's not that they're not gonna train you, but training is really just teaching you the company way and things like that. It's not teaching you how to do your job, your role per se. They want you to come in day one, pretty much able to hit the ground running. As more people start to take these and actually go work in jobs and start their careers, maybe these will gain even more credibility on top of just being you know, something that Google put out, but they might actually hold a lot more weight in the future. But you know, starting out, I don't think it's a complete waste of time in terms of saving you money and kind of just giving you the structure of what you need to learn to get into a career field. But at the same time, you guys can obviously just go online, look up the curriculum, see what they're teaching and go just get those skills yourself guys and just put in the time on your own projects or projects for other people that you do. And that is gonna go a much, much longer way. But one of the downsides I do see to these type of certifications is the fact that because it's created by Google, there might be so many people doing it in the next like three to five years that it will saturate the job market for these particular roles. And what I mean by that is that the job salaries that we see right now that we're used to or those kind of higher tech salaries that we're used to right now could start to go down over the next three to five years if these type of certifications really do start to translate into people kind of going from no degree no experience into just working in the it field there's also like a hundred thousand scholarships available from what i read online and all these courses are taught by google employees and google instructors as well too so i'm pretty sure that if you had to take an online course you'd be in good hands but you know, i always try to tell you guys my honest perspective on you know all the options that you guys have all right, so if you're new to the channel, my name is Darian. We talk about everything from tech and entrepreneurship here on this channel. If you guys check in the description box below before you leave this video, I write a really dope weekly newsletter where I just share all my thoughts and everything about life outside of tech. Also check out the link to my free intro to coding bootcamp course where I teach everything that I wish I knew before I went to coding bootcamp. So you guys can go get that for free. It only costs your email address. So I'm Darian, this is Darian Dev. I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace.